German's first time eating in and out. This is a big deal. Oh, Martin good. on the so on the double double. It's a straight ice cream. What is root beer? Do you not know? They literally they don't have root beer in Germany. Einfach Red Bull. Das war das erste, was ich getan Jägermeister Red Bull. Welcome back everybody. Currently driving to the airport, Los Angeles International Airport, to pick up some travelers that are passing through these parts of the world. They just so happen to be two Germans. And guess what? Not only are they German, but it's their first time in America. Their very first time ever in America. So this is gonna be fun because I am picking up Vanessa and Martin and we are going to see what their very first take is on California. Sunny, baby! It's sunny, baby! Come on, now! I'm hyped. I am hyped because I still remember the day. I still remember the day, like, literally, it was yesterday, and that's a cliche because it's so true. Like, some things stick in your mind so clearly that it feels like it happened yesterday or last week. I remember the day like it was last week when I went to Germany for the first time. I flew WOW Airlines, I stopped in Reykjavik, Iceland, saw the northern lights on the airplane, and then landed in Frankfurt, Germany. My coach picked me up, and that was the first time I ever touched down in Germany. And it was just like a new world, quite literally. A new world opened up to me before my very eyes. I had no idea where I was, but slowly but surely, slowly and surely, I got my bearings, I got my sense of direction started coming to me as I started driving on the freeway. I was like, man, I'm really in the middle of Europe right now, and I'm with a strange German man, my coach, who's driving me to a place that I've never been before, and I'm about to play a sport that I know in a place that I don't know at all. And it was just so amazing, bro. I, I ate foods that for the first time. I heard language for the first time. Gosh, and these Germans are gonna have the same experience in my country now. So, so this is cool because just like all of you Germans loved watching my experience as a foreigner in your country, you know, and just like struggling through language and tasting the things that you guys love, I'm gonna get to do that right here in real time with my country and with these Germans. I can show them, hey look, this is where I go, this is what I eat, this is what we say, this is how we say it in English, and I'm gonna see what they think of it. So, this should be fun. Oh, look, there they are! <laughs> All right, so, it's crazy. The people I talked about before are here. This is Martin. And this yes. is Vanessa. Hi guys. And they're both from Germany. Where in Germany are you from? Uh, near Cologne. Oh, what city? What's the name? Um, it's like Neuss. Neuss is the name of the city? Yeah, yeah. How far? Like 15 minutes from Cologne? 20 minutes. I've been to Cologne for Carnival. It was dope. Yeah. <laughs> and it's best. what's your first perspective? All you did was fly in and you just see the airport, but like, do you have oh, a first saw perspective? Oh, you saw the, the oh, you saw the sign. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You flew over? Yeah. Was that crazy? Oh, that was crazy. Oh that was God. unreal. Yeah, yeah. because like, ah, oh, that yeah, is... So good. That is crazy because like I, I'm glad that you guys are hyped on that. Is that like a super famous thing yeah, for? Yes. I think so. Yeah. For outside, I, mean, I know it's famous, but since I live here, I see it all the time. Yeah. So it's interesting that you see it the first time and you're like, oh, that you're hyped on that. Yes. Crazy. Okay, what about how about just like how things are that like different from Germany? Are they different? Um, Can you tell, or is it like similar? The the airport area is pretty similar. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would say. Yeah. What about the people? Initial reaction. I have met. It's true. So many people. So. Yeah. So we're gonna. And we saw the the typical LA uh, palm trees. Yes. Like the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was. I saw it everywhere and every picture on Instagram or you yeah. know. And I that was the, the first thing I saw yeah. the. Yeah. The palm so trees. I was talking yeah. about that on the way here. I was like, "There's palm trees in LA." Yeah. I was talking about it myself, and that's yeah. funny that you say that too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is their first time. That was my. Oh, that was my horn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I honked my own horn. <laughs> So we're gonna just show them, or I am gonna show them California. 
and I was talking like you guys are in the position I was in three years ago when I first went to Germany and I was like I don't know anything yeah so now I get to do that with them we can show them food and everything so nice. enjoy nice. let's go yeah. let's do it Los Gates <laughs> Los and Gates. they're gonna teach me German yes, right? Of course, right. right do you know what in and out burger is have you heard of it I heard it at your video. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. At, the, at the tough episode where you we had them and put them in the milkshake. No way. Yeah. So you guys watched the TAF episode? Yeah, TAF episode. Wow, okay, so they, when did you first see my video? That's a good question. First video. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, the first video, whoa. That was cool, huh? Um, we were like right by the airport, a big plane flew over. Um, first video was when, I think you and Silas, Silas. were in Germany and made this, uh, this hard German word um, oh, challenge. Oh, you know, oh, the, like, the like I, I should, oh, that was the first one? I think That's so, yeah. crazy, yeah. okay, okay, nice. I think that and then you saw like other ones after that? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Dude, social media is wild. It's crazy. I made a video in Germany and now I'm here with the Germans in California. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do I say this in German? Guck dir? Guck dir mal die Palme an. Wait, guck dir mal, wait, what? Guck dir mal die Palme an. Guck dir mal die Palme an. Guck dir. Guck dir ja. mal die Palmen an. Die Palmen an. She's stoked on these palm trees. Just like I was. I'm stoked. I live here, but this is like the first time they're seeing this in real life. And we're going to probably one of the most famous burger stops in Southern California called In N Out Burger. And I was telling them that my tradition is I fly into LAX right there. It's literally like right there. And then we drive here and get burgers and we go home. So we're gonna see how they like it right now. Yo, this is an advertisement break. And this is the easiest hands down advertisement I've ever done because I have used a VPN for the past five years, especially as a traveler going around the world. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. The easiest way for me to describe what a VPN is, is by using this globe. So I'm sitting here in California right now, but I can basically use a VPN to make my computer seem as if I'm in South America or Africa or Europe, wherever. The main benefit of doing that for me as a traveler is, sometimes when you go to different countries, certain websites are blocked or different than the websites you're used to viewing in your home country. So for example, if I visit Germany, I could change my computer's location to back in America while I'm in Germany and I could watch American Netflix. Or even better, especially since I'm trying to learn German, when I'm here in Los Angeles, I can make my computer seem like it's in Germany so then I can get German Netflix, watch all the shows that I want to with German subtitles and continue my language learning. And I actually would say this is especially helpful for people that are living overseas who want to get American content. We all know a lot of shows, a lot of music, a lot of everything entertainment comes from America, specifically Los Angeles, and if you have a VPN changing your computer's location, then you will get all of that content as if you were living in this country or whatever country you'd like to access content from. It will protect your cybersecurity as well if there's hackers trying to get your information and you're using a VPN. They're not gonna be able to track your actual IP address because you're using a different one and that's very real. If you're interested, go to the affiliate link, check out all the information. They're gonna give you two years, 70% off plus one month free. We all use our devices so much. This will be on your phone too. This will be on your computer. So. If you're on your phone looking at YouTube, you need privacy, you need more content, it is 100% worth it. I'm speaking how I use it, and I actually think it would help you guys too. So thank you for watching, and thank you for, thank you for understanding that advertisements like this help me continue to travel the globe and make content for you guys, and I really appreciate all the opportunities that I've been able to uh, experience. And I wanna give a shout out to the Germans, shout out to the Indonesians, a shout out to my Indians, a lot of people from all those countries, and I miss those places, I'll come back soon. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoy the rest. Peace. Look at that. Kuk di mal di palm aum. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? It smells so good already. Yeah, let's go. Dude, this is fun for me, to show people new things. Hey, you got the California style with the Good. You're looking good. Alright, thank dang, you. Dang. Alright, there's the menu, there's the man. What do you want? Um, double double. The first thing is always the best. Yeah, that's right. Double double. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's either double double, cheeseburger, or hamburger, and you get the french fries. And you, you can get a shake too. Then we get the number one, double double, french fries. You want the double double milk? Yeah. Do you want uh, grilled onions or regular? Regular. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's better? 
Honestly, bro, I get a, a grill. I get the grill on if I was you. Then we got the grill on. <laughs> it is the first time from Germany. First time from yeah. Germany? Yeah, so I'm like telling them about LA. There's no in and outs in Germany? No, no, no. no, no. I'm missing no. out. Yeah. 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 A double double with grilled onions and two fries. Is that it? Uh, and the shake. And the shake. How oh, fun! <laughs> What is root beer? Do you not know? I know from, from the last time I've been to Philly and <laughs> I remember it's it's disgusting, right? They don't what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In Germany, in Germany they, don't. they don't have it? Why? They, I don't know. Never Dude, that's crazy. They literally, they don't have root beer in Germany. That's insane. And I would be honest with you, it's not root, good, root beer is my favorite. No. You put ice cream in it. No. And it's called a root beer float. What is it? I remember it's not good at all. It's, it's a, like malt beer? It's like, like a German malt beer? acquired taste. Um, is it beer? No, it's not beer. Uh, it's not beer. It's like, um, it's like Coca-Cola. Derived from a root, I think that's what it is. Yeah. I would have to look it up. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's a unique yeah, taste. That's crazy. They do not have root beer. And Vanessa just asked, is it is it beer, like real beer? It's not. It's basically sugar and cola. You wanna try it for the first time? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we gotta get our shake too. It was a good shot. We got the burgers, we got the nice setting, and we got Germans eating in and out for the very first time. <laughs> Look at this. Nice! Crazy. So for Vanessa, who's never tried, I got a little bit of root beer. So she can try this. Is it weird? Mm. <laughs> it it's like bubble gum. Yeah, it kind of does taste yeah. like that, or smell like that. <laughs> Let me try. Weißt du, wie das riecht? Nach Jäger Red Bull. Einfach Red Bull. Ey, das war das erste, was ich gedacht habe. Jägermeister Red Bull. No, really? Yeah. It smells like Jägermeister Red Bull, but it doesn't taste like it. What does it taste like? Yeah, like a, okay, like a bubblegum drink, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Darf ich auch probieren? Ja. Yeah. Achso, sollten wir noch nicht probieren? Mm -mm. Oh, dann hab ich verkackt. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> You don't like it? Um, it's not so bad. <laughs> but it's, not, it's not too bad, yeah. It's not too bad, but I I think I never had this taste before in a yeah. in a normal drink. <laughs> what does it taste like? Kaugummi. Kaugummi, yeah, Kaugummi, it goes. Yeah. 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 Kaugummi. Yeah. Kaugummi. No way. Yeah. Kaugummi, Jägermeister und Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They said it tastes like gummy or gum, Jägermeister and Red Bull. Let me try and see if that's true. It's a mix of all. That's weird. Yeah, I can see yeah. how that's true. I can see how that's yeah. true. It's like this because the smell is gummy, uh -huh. and then it has like little like Krauter, Krauter Likör taste. <laughs> Germans first time eating in and out. This is a how big do, deal. How do you do it? Okay, so you can do whatever you want. Like some people will just eat the burger first. I think it's good to have like one bite of the burger by itself, yeah, fries by themselves, and right. then you can also, after you've done that, like dip some things in the. Let's do it. What do you think of the fries? Weird. Interesting. Good. You're good. Good. It's different though than like McDonald's, huh? Mmm. Better. Really. Yeah. Yes, Ooh. more like Ooh, look at the fresh potatoes. Yes, they're very fresh. They mm -hmm. cut all the potatoes fresh in mm -hmm. there. Oh, this is a big moment. All right. Martin on the, so on the double double. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you What do you think? Is it, is it as good as you thought? Yeah. Really? It's better. No Even way. better. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah. The sauce is. Is it better than? The sauce is crazy good. What yeah. was the junior? The name? Carl's uh, Junior? Carl's no, junior. Carl's Junior was not. Do you know Carl's Junior? Of course, yeah. They had it in Mexico, but it wasn't so good. But it was also our first one. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. In N Out is like the Californian's burger. Like, we swear by it because we're loyal to it, but it also is as good. <laughs> it is as good as they say because it's fresh. Like Vanessa Super said, fresh. the potatoes are like yeah. cut fresh, so it, they taste a little bit uh -huh. more fresh. And the burger also, like all the lettuce and tomatoes and stuff, and the the meat's never frozen. That's what they always tell you, and it's true. And it, you can yeah. tell. 
Yeah. It's never frozen? Never frozen, yeah. Nice. Meat? The meat? The meat, yeah. Oh. So like Carl's Jr. and McDonald's will freeze the meat and uh -huh. just keep it, yeah. Oh yeah? So should we try this one first Oh yeah, 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 try that. Oh yeah, by itself first. Just straight ice cream. Healthy. Mm. Is it ice cream? <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so good. <laughs> the Schmeckbeet is ice, nur flüssig. So good. So, so you, say, you say the taste is fresh? The schmeckt the Nein, das schmeckt, ice? Nein, das schmeckt wie das Napoleon Eis. Yeah. Yeah, the ice cream of that. But just in. Das schmeckt wie das, wie das Eis? Yeah. Nur in Flüssig. Nur in Flüssig. What yeah. is nur in Flüssig? Just. Um, nur in Flüssig. When it's melted, it's. When it's melted, yeah. Just as. Ist geschmolzen und geschmolzen <coughs> ist Flüssig. Yeah. <laughs> What is Flüssig? <laughs> Auf English. This one, dude. This. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to learn German. This is good. Die schmeckt die das Eis. Wie das Eis? Die schmeckt wie das Eis. Nur flüssig. Nur flüssig. You got it. So what's that for? That's the okay. So bread. basically, this is extra sauce. So you can ah. you can just like I don't know if you want to put it, it on your spicy. burger or if you want to put it there and like put your um, fries fries in there. It's not spicy though. No. It's it's, it's mayonnaise and ketchup. That's crazy, no huh? No way! Oh, yeah. Dude, that's another cool thing about sitting here is you get like a plane show. Like seeing mm -hmm. big old planes just fly over you is pretty cool. And you really get like a perspective of how big they are. That was really crazy. Yeah. They're so big. Maybe another one will come. Die Farm vom Himmel. Die Farm vom Himmel. So beautiful. Das ist ein schöner Ausblick. Yeah. When I say correct German sentences, I feel accomplished. <laughs> yeah, you gotta dip so it. It's time to dip it. How do you say it in German? Eintogen. 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 So just the whole. The Zeit is so Eintogen. What? <laughs> How do you say it's time to dip it in German? Zeit zum Eintogen. Zeit zum Eintogen. Or Eintauchen. Go, go, go. Oh man. See if you like it. <laughs> it's weird. But it's still good. It's still alright? Yeah, it's, it's like sweet and salty. Yeah. That's why people do it. Try with the fry. Like two, <laughs> get like two fries and just try. It's it's kind of like eating a bacon donut. Have you ever had a maple bacon donut? It's like brown on the top. Ahon, is it Ahon Zero? Yes. Maple, Ahon donut. Maple juice, right? Maple yes, juice. yes. On the donut? And then you have and then you have the bacon. Oh really? Never yeah. never see that. No. So just okay, in America. Some, yeah, some just fries try. and Yeah. Vanessa has to try too. Not too bad, huh? Is it good or no? <laughs> With the fries, it's like... Churros? Churros! churros. Or uh, the, like in Mexico, churros. Or the crepe. Oh, here's another one. Crazy. That's good. Good. What was your first take on in and out I loved it. You loved it? I loved it so much. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Does it relate to anything in Germany? Do you, you guys don't really have that much burger places, right? It's like no, McDonald's it's like and McDonald's, this. McDonald's, Burger King. Yeah. But this is like unique California. Yeah. And you liked yes. it? I loved it. Yeah. How'd you delicious. like the fries? Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Die Berger. Is it burger? Of Deutsch? Burger. Die Burger it sure. schmeckt gut. Schmeckt sehr gut. Yeah. Schmeckt sehr gut. Okay. So Vanessa just asked me. She was like, so there's no blitzers here? And I said, yes, praise the Lord. Because in <laughs> Germany, they have these things called Blitzer. And it's basically a speed camera. So when you're driving over the speed limit, as one does all the time, and Germans, they don't really know as much about that because they have the Autobahn where you literally can drive as fast as you want. But in America, the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. And everyone always drives 70, 75. If you go like 85 in America, the cops can get you. But it's like rolling the dice here. Where in Germany, if you go over the speed limit, it's automatic. You get blitzed like yeah. when you're getting off the Autobahn, yeah? And sometimes on the Autobahn. 75 miles? Miles per hour. And Nicht kmh. Mhp. How much yeah. kilometers are 75 miles? 150 about. 
150? 140? I think. 140. I don't know exactly the, the translation. I don't know. But anyways, in Germany, if you're going over the speed limit, there's literally a box that will radar you automatically. It's not even a human, and it just goes, it flashes you, it knows your license plate, and it sends you a freaking check or a, what is it? Knötchen. What is that? Knötchen. Knötchen. It's Knötchen, yeah. yeah, right? What does it mean, like a ticket? A ticket. 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 Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it automatically you sends you a fine in the mail. And I didn't know this the first time I went there, so I was just driving, speeding, getting flashed, and I was like, wow, there's all these flashing and things. The <laughs> and, then, and then I just had to owe like 500 euros. Yes. 500, yeah? Well, total. I am total. All of them oh, added okay. up over like two or three years. But yeah, here in America, it's only by the police. So if the police like uses a handgun and they shoot and they see, then they'll get you. So it doesn't happen as much, you know? And, and everyone's always looking. Like you yeah, see the police, yeah, you yeah. slow down. That slow down. was my yeah. question. Do you know where they are? No, you or can't, you can't tell. Different yeah. places. Yeah, they're always different. So that is different too. In Germany, if you're living in the same city, you know the Blitzer. Yeah. yeah so you, you know go that. fast, yeah. you slow. You slow down yeah. and then you yeah. Yeah. Right. But if you're a new person like me, you just go fast and get caught. How many times have you been blitzed in your life? In my life? Yeah. I would say like under 10 times. Under 10? Yeah, I would say. So yeah. German of you. 10? How, how many? <laughs> under 10. Under. Like maybe like seven? Yeah. In your whole life? How many of you? <laughs> one? That's the autobahn? Yeah. That is But that was a big one. That is uh That was a big one, but normally I really Yeah, she's I the she's the most German. That's driver. very German. Yeah. And I have Germans commenting on my videos sometimes, they're just like, Well, why don't you just follow the rules and you won't get blitz? And I'm like, Yes. Yes. That that makes sense, of course. Oh, it's so yeah. German. But it is <laughs> uh, I'm glad that a German can confirm that that's really German to say. Because yeah. yeah. in America, people are just like, just drive this, that, whatever. And, yeah. and it's just so normal for us. Just like if you go to Spain and then they say, I'll be there at 5 p.m. and they show up at 7 p.m. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like part of the culture yeah, it is. where we drive and it's not so strict yeah, where people the are like. Germans would say, if you drive faster than it's allowed, it's your fault. And exactly. You have to pay it. And the yes. truth is, you're right. It is my fault. <laughs> However, it's yeah, it's not as strict, and people are just they get tickets, but then they just complain about it. Like, oh, one more thing. It's Vanessa's birthday in two days, and somebody I was just on FaceTime, and they wished her happy birthday, but it's two days early, and you can't do that. Why? What you gotta tell me why? The question why? is why. Yeah, the question is why. Why did she say it? <laughs> Because in America, we say like, happy birthday early, or like happy early birthday, but why can't you say happy birthday early in German? Because, um, because it's, it's bad luck. A, it's bad luck it's when, ba you, yeah, when you ah. wish someone an early happy birthday. And because two them. days earlier is not your birthday. Yeah, you're yeah, right, you're right. Yeah. That's another cultural thing in America. Yeah. Like, yeah, if, if someone finds out, oh, my birthday's next week, or then they say, oh, like happy birthday. Even or the, next week. Even yeah, if it's next, next week. week or like next month, sometimes people will be like, oh, have, like, happy early birthday because they think maybe they won't see you on ah, your birthday. Yeah, okay. Okay. So if you okay. just meet them and yeah, and they're like, I don't I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna see you, then I want you to know that I like want you to yes. have a happy yes. day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're back, we're here. We're back. German's first time in an American neighborhood. Actually, you went to Philadelphia. First time in a California neighborhood. They look different, yeah. yeah. The house is up. Smaller than German yes. houses, right? Yeah, they're German like, yeah. Are like one story. Yeah. Yeah, there's always. Is it like always like that? No, like some people have two, but this is like. We oh. get <laughs> yeah, My parents are here. Hello. Hello. We have foreign exchange students. Hello. How do you say? Hello. Hello. We get still. <laughs> <laughs> 